A battle for it here into the corner, and with no Dermot, the Coyotes have had to do a little bit of mixing and matching on their blue line tonight. We'll get to that shortly as this one will be brought out. Nick Bukestad will find Michelli over the line, and he takes it to the net. He scores! Matias Michelli! Opening minute goal of a hockey game with the Coyotes with a 1-0 lead. Did some depth scoring, little chip and chase. Look at the speed through the neutral zone. Full gallop, Matias Michelli, typically a passer. He wanted this one and he just reps it. Far side, looks like a goal scorer there. Over the pad, under the... Waiting seconds down to two and one. Good row, throws it into the slot. Cop is there to clean it up with Fantilli lurking. Sent around the wall. Here's Line keeping it in. Line with a shot, scores! For the fourth time this afternoon, the team scores seconds after, and that is the 200th National Hockey League goal for Patrick Line with a tremendous wrist shot. He unloads it top shelf over Billy Huso. Here's the rim, Patrick Line is on it. And there he comes. He moves in. It's a Nissan move of the game. You can see what's happening in front. And Patrick says, thank you very much. Number 200, and it's top shelf. Two in the first, then Lanier in the second. Thomas goes across. And the Panthers are all over that. Ekblad and Thomas behind the play. We're going at it as the catch. Shoot it, and they score! It hit the glass, and it bounced in. Now the Blues are objecting. They're saying this is no goal, that it caught something in the Panther bench first. But it did deflect in, and this is going to be interesting. Got to see where that puck hit on its way. So here's the breakout. Moister in, has got the puck, fires it. It just hit the glass. It hit the round part of the glass. If you stop it right here, there's a, right at the Panther bench, I know it's kind of fuzzy, but there's a round partition here to protect the players, and it just took a really funny pop. Dallas just trying to get something going, been stuck offensively and neutral throughout the game. Sagan has it behind the net. Got goals in four straight. Over for Duchesne, up high at the point. Angle, pocket pop, he scores! the board early in the third. On, he just one assist in the eight games since that thunderclap in Nashville to win it. The Stars get some deep pressure. They get the Predators scrambling in their own zone for one of the few times in the game. And venturing a, a defenseman down there, I think it, it actually helped them that the puck flipped a little bit. He elevates it quickly, a perfect shot. And it looked like a goal scorer there. Cruised in, bang, over the shoulder. Raymond looking for Wallman, who opens up to take the pass. Raymond off his back foot, and now a foot race, and here's Zetterlin, in alone, on the breakaway. Granlin scores! They did it again! The Sharks with an unbelievable comeback, and then the overtime winner here in Detroit. The Red Wings throw the puck back. This is going to be a good stick check right there. And then a little bit of a hold of the stick. There was going to be a penalty Larkin on that situation, but then the fake, you know, the, the slap pass across. As Larkin's trying to come back here, he just loses his balance. They knock skates and down they go. Then he holds the stick. And that's a terrific fake by Zetterland across to Granlin. It's just hustle, it's just checking, it's skating off the puck, it's working for the puck. It's never stopped working. And that's what the Sharks did all night tonight. They're, they're in second place in the Metro for a reason, and I'm sure they're not very happy with the way things have gone in this game. Pustin in a bomb, he scores! Get that puck for Pusty! First goal in the NHL for Valtteri Pustinen. And that's why I love him in that power play spot. I know this was not a power play, but that's the area of the ice that he kind of bumps in and out from. Another play, I think about half of the Smith saves have been with the blocker in this game. They had a Canucks able to cash in. Now Barkov has a chance to the net. The backhander score! What a goal! Sasha's first of the year, he answers back. Look at the pass goes off. Now stop it right there. There's all this, this ice. 
and Barkov reads it perfectly and comes right in off of the deflection from Rodriguez. Let it go. There it is. All kinds of time. Barkov's skill can go to work. That shot is blocked up top as Andre Palat towards the cup champion with the Tampa Bay Lightning with him. He'll lose the pocket now. Carolina will spring off. Hope coming in on top. Beckett, he scores! Oh, what a start. Carolina, 90 seconds in. Mercer tries to do so he can. Slavin, who was brilliant last night, he makes a quick pass on the tape, and then you see an even better pass from Tara Minen coming off his red-hot performance against the Bruins. And Ajo, a move with conviction, top speed. Nemec, their young defenseman, coming back. Moretzky worked over by Monaghan. Monaghan up with the puck, and it taken away by Line. Line breaking free. Patrick Line to the goal. Great save, he scores! Patrick Line got enough on it behind Montemo and in. Fire the cannon, it's 1 0 Blue Jackets. He starts deep in his end, comes up the wall, nice poke check right there. He goes by a couple of Canadian players who look to be a bit flat footed. And then as he cuts across, I thought he was going to take it from his forehand to his backhand and shelf it. Instead, he hung on to it. And he just outbattles a number of guys. Matheson's on the wrong side. And he just slickly just holds this back and slides it off the toe. But because his motor's always going, it yep. makes sense. And you know, he certainly deserves some PP time the way he's going if they get one. Jesper Bratz got it. Final push for the Devils. 25 seconds to go in the period. He picks out Eric Hall. He shoots. He scores! It's a one-goal game. And it's quick transition up ice. The Canucks get caught. You see Brad cuts back. It's an Eric Hall. Look at this wicked wrister over the glove of Thatcher Demko to make it a 3-2 hockey game. What a shot. And how about the work of Luke Hughes? Watch Dragging, that drag yes. to stay on side. You're watching the Canucks brass. And Chushkin up to the point for Taves. That's it back for Val. Here is Nachushkin. Wanted to leave it off. Sends it down the slot. Back in. Score! Miko Rantanen goes upstairs under the crossbar on Ottinger. And the Avs have fought all the way back. Another broken play and the Moose got loose. Nothing but old-fashioned hard work and just winning every battle you can around the ice. And with that, sometimes you get a bit lucky. A broken play at the blue line. Val Najushkin just goes to throw it at the net, thinking something good has to happen. And the Moose says, don't worry. That was a super stop. Now the Canes, their first real possession of the puck here in overtime. And there is that man, Marty Natchez. He'll drop it for Ajo. Ajo with a lane. He shoots. He scores! Game over! Sebastian Ajo wins it in overtime. Carolina four, Islanders three. I love the way that he, with his leg, played into the shooting angle. And all of a sudden, you have that interchange up top from the overtime hero at home recently against the Seattle Kraken. They just makes a very, very good play. Dropping it to Ajo. And Ajo recognizes, I, no, the goaltender was set. I think he just saw... Brandon Saad, Pittsburgh native, almost gave it away to Bjorkstrand. Brunovic, pickpocketed by Bjorkstrand. He's got Tolvanen, another pass, what a play! Ellie Tolvanen, set up by Yanni Gord! Outstanding tic-tac goal! Three to one, Seattle! It doesn't get any better than this when you talk about retrieval, nose over the puck mentality, and letting the puck do the work. Look at this passing play. The 2 on -oh in front of the net after the steal by Oliver Bjorkstrand. He gets his puck to Tolman and back to Gord, and Ellie buries it into the back of the net. And the Kraken with two quick ones have a two-goal lead. Gives Nye some room, twists and turns, trying to jam. And it comes loose for Harvey Bernard to clear. Oh, turnover, here's pulling it in, back in. A turnover and yes, a Ulladen. You remember the game's first goal is Brody who lost his balance. Here's a similar play, whipped on the puck and then fell down. And this is a tight play, but what patience with the puck here, Ulladen.
just no panic whatsoever. Look at how far Samsonov tried to stretch himself across. You take a shot, get the goaltender to get down. Lundell at the line, goes across Losterina. Gudis got a stick on it, now Losterina picks it up again. Losterina out in front, he scores! Etu has his first of the season, and the Panthers are on top. Then the Panthers get over the line. Here's Roisterin. Now watch behind the net. Roisterin back to Lundell, back to Roisterin, and watch where Gibson is. Gibson's looking on the other side of the net. He feeds him. Crota shoots wide. He went high to the blocker side of Wedgwood and missed the net. Back the other way, Pavelski off to Robertson, and now Hintz shoots. Score! Rope Hintz ties it with 6-10 remaining. He's missed. That's the end of his shot. Comes around to Pavelski. And as Robertson drives through, that backs up the defender. And Rope Hintz is on the board twice here in the third period. He beats Lindgren on the blocker. This time, slides into the star zone. Hockenbaugh pursued by Dabrinkit. Size mismatch somehow even grows in that exchange. Across the line, steal. Final second, they score! Lindell! They'll check the clock. Essa Lindell looks like he got a buzzer beater to sneak in and give Dallas the lead. Some lengthy goal routes for Dallas defensemen, and one of them's over. Essa's is not as long as some others. This is going to count. And Karam's right in off the pipe with two tenths of a second to go. I don't know what happened to Reimer on that one, whether it dipped or something, but he, he looked like he was. Talked about the 11 and 7 for Carolina, and Rob Brindamore told us pregame. Part of that's because Chatfield has been, quote, too good to take out. And he contributes again with his first point in the last six games. And the Canes lead. Nason for Palma. Back to Sixteen and a half to go in the third period. Two nothing Sabres. VC sends it ahead. Gustafson in on the rush. Pass across. Oh my lord! How did he make that stop? Lukanen got a piece of it. Turkey looks to go short side, but watch this save. vc has got the wide open net, except the paddle coming across. And Lukanen, that's Dom Hashik like right there. That is. <laughs> Sebastian Alho. They wanted to stay offside, but he tagged himself up. And the other thing is Aho comes up with an intercept. Drop this one back. Jarvis, Terravine, and Aho, they score! Tick, tack, tied, Carolina! Sebastian Aho! Love the way they stacked up Aho and company in the neutral zone. And while Terravine has found the back of the net, his playmaking has been dormant. Well, it wasn't here. Jarvis drops it to him in a brilliant pass. And the guy that stacked up in the neutral zone Gets himself to a soft area, nose table will find him, and ties the hockey game. A flip to himself off the backboard, then a race by Hanley, a good defensive play. The Stars springing ahead for Hintz again, shorthanded, dragged to the inside, he scores! A gorgeous goal! Shorthanded tally for Rope Hintz. What a move, and Dallas is up too low. Another save on Hughes prior to that. Then they went farm to table all the way down. What a slick against the grain. Just leave it back. The goaltender, Nico Dawes, allowed him to eat him up, thinking he was going to sweep in front, maybe elevate a backhand. Part of what Colorado had that harder to play against, the physicality in front. McKinnon and ranted and all alone in the metal, and he dished it off for Taves. And the shot was deflected by Fiala. Ranted and scores! It's a three-point night for Miko Ranton, a 3-0 lead for Colorado. 55 goals last year, 42 of them at even strength. Start off very well. Another entry, the Kings have got to back up because there's 
You know, it's a one-on-one -on -one play, but now he's got to respect McKinnon, and now it's the entry into the zone. Look at Talbot is slid from one post to the other, never really got his footing, got basically flat on the goal line and a reverse VH, and there's loads of room up there. There's loads of room up there. But that's just also an example of that patience that Rantanen has, where you're not rushing it. Good pad save, and it comes out to center right. Alexia, it's a breakaway for Gord, with Tolvanen for Gord, for Tolvanen! That's hockey, baby! What a play! Ellie Tolvanen with a brilliant finish! Yanni Gord right on the spot, and the Kraken are off and running. Turns back a great opportunity, a two on O, play a little pitch and catch. And Yanni Gord's able to find Ellie Tolvin, and again, doesn't elect for the one-timer. Unselfish play there by Yanni Gord and Tolvin. But what a pass by Alexia to even find that through the middle to hit Yanni Gord to start that two on O break. Up the boards it comes. Krebs lost his twig. Loose hands in the air, Abs take it away. Fed off for McKinnon, and he is falling down the way. A little scissor move, gives it up, he goes in, wraps it in, a run for all track, he scores! He got Hugo Pekka looking it down. He got him out, and the Moose got loose for a smooth move right around the cage. He knocks it in, two goals in two games. Starts with Kale McCarr winning a puck battle. Nathan McKinnon comes and cuts the middle every time he's on his game. And then it's the waiting game and waiting game. I thought he might have tried to stuff it short side, coming back right there. But now nah, he's way better than my thought process. Buries the wraparound as the Buffalo player couldn't get there in time. And now Miko Renton in his back at his usual scoring pace. Yeah, he came alive. A puck possessor is hurdle is unavailable in this scenario. Quinn goes with Ferraro, Addison, Franland, and Zetterland here four on four. A 2-2 game. The Sharks have had the lead twice. Here's Granlund in alone. He scores! What a goal by me, Kyle Granlund! Or do that from what I said <laughs> what a play by Granlin comes up with speed attacks the middle good move the inside protects the puck